Prepare yourselves for a battle of epic proportions between two titans. Feast upon their voices and revel in their words. This is Dueling Ogres. Prepare yourselves for a battle of epic proportions between two titans. Feast upon their voices and revel in their words. This is Dueling Ogres. Prepare yourselves for a battle of epic proportions between two titans. Feast upon their voices and revel in their words. This is Dueling Ogres. Hello, Ogres, and welcome to Regions of Ruin. So this is a new game that uh, was provided to me via Humble Bundle. So uh, if you want to check it out, it's only, I think it's on sale for like $9.59. Just came out uh, February 5th. And uh, it looks, it's a, it's a 2D RPG side-scroller. Um, you kind of got some town building and, and there's some storyline that goes along with it. So we're going to check that out as we go along. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and uh, jump right in. I'm going to cue the music up. Hold on just a second. I'll kind of fade it in all fancy like for you. All right, let me know how that is. I know it'll fade it down when I start talking, but if it's too loud or if it's not, just let me know. <clears throat> I know, Brandon, I can see that you're in here, so. Don't know how long I'll be playing this, so I'm just kind of setting up some other things there. Oh, I lost my controller control somehow. I wanted to try and do this with the controller, so let's see if it kicks back in. If I like, click off of it. And... There we go. Okay. All right, so let's get going. All right, so this is our difficulty. Apparently, Elvish is very easy. Seems a little uh, Elvishly racist, I guess. 
human, troll, and dwarf. And as we all know, the dwarf is the hardiest of all things, so when it comes to fantasy. Uh, let's go with human. I don't want to be an elf ever. Looks like you have a controller plugged in. Would you like to use it the default setup or bind the controls yourself? Default's fine. Dwarven kin had led a golden age of complacency across the continent. That's right, I'm going to read it all in a bad Scottish accent. The great centaur human war, however, caused the dwarves to shun the overworld. Their caste lords locked themselves into the mountains for centuries. When the, door, when the doors finally opened, ending centuries of silence, all was not as it should have been. What the dwarves discovered was that the entire continent had changed. Neither human nor centaur remained. The land, once bustling with activity and trade, was now peppered with goblin lich and kobold enclaves. The doors now opened, countless thousands of covetous eyes now turned to the under cities of the dwarves. Dwarven kin fought fiercely, but were soon exiled to the surface, enslaved, captured, and ousted from their homes, now far from their mountain cores, far from their heritage, the dwarves slowly sought to reconquer the lands. With the dwarven race scattered, mere refugees and vagabonds, it will take a hero to bring them together and restore the once mighty dwarven kingdom. I am in perfect health. Is not fully Im implemented. Fighting using the inventory and basic interactions will work. However, some functionality is still in development. Okay, so they're still working on controller support. So I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, maybe I don't need some of it. So left, right. A is jump. B doesn't do anything. Y, X doesn't do anything. Okay, so uh, I was watching somebody else play that, so this left bumper is uh, Sneak, if I remember correctly. Um, select doesn't do anything. You can double click, right click, or drag the items to equip them and move them around, okay? So start brings up your uh, inventory. So that's good, okay. Use Y to interact with scenery and talk. Your caravan leader seems to be in trouble. Okay. What you got, my little dwarven friend? I'm going to turn the music down on my end real quick. It's really kind of loud. Okay. So this game was actually financed by Humble Bundle. Uh, it was released under Poisky Productions and Fanged, and it was developed by Vox. So. Okay, let's get back to it. Press Y to open. Okay, so let's talk to him. It seems my wheel is broken off my wagon. I'll need some wood to get it fixed. Think you can help? Wood. So I've got four choices. Rumors, wood, occupation, and advice. It's not... I mean, we'll have a little bit of four, foreplay, right? Have you found any timber to fix my wheel? I'm a caravan leader. It's my job to take this caravan wherever it's required. Take your time looking for resources. You can find them in more places than you might think. I think there is a nice place nearby where we can start our settlement, but we need, we'll need to get there first. Yes, I'll need about 10 wood to get it back up and on its feet. You might be able to find some around here. Oh, do, oh, do they have 
daytime effects? It looks like the sun is setting. Oh, that's cool. Torch automatically lit up. Very nice. Okay, so that's a short axe. I'll pick that up. Is it already... Okay, so it auto-equips that. Cool. That's my jump. Still don't know what it... Okay, so B is attack. And X is also attack. I think B is like a... <laughs> Pudge was just walking on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute well at least the chat responded because I can hear you clicking you know okay anyway use Y to retrieve items from the chest and weapon rack press Y again to get items off the ground okay figured that out oh little pieces of gold Press start to open your inventory or click the icon in the toolbar to see what items you have. Let's see the toolbar. So X to attack, B to power hit, hold left trigger to shield. Oh, okay. Cool. So you can break those and pick up little... These little bunny rabbits. Yes, come back, bunny rabbit. Come back. Come back. I promise not to kill you. Just kidding. Aw, poor little bunnies. There's an enemy ahead. Make sure you equip a weapon. You will need to s need something to strike him with. Oh my god, words apparently are very hard. Aw, oh, look at his little goblin face. Come here, little goblin face. Ow! Hitting a shield will stun you momentarily. You will need to use a power hit to break through an enemy shield. Okay. I don't know what that said, but I don't believe it. Aha! You're so dead. I wish I could hit him with a bunny. But I can't pick up the bunnies. I can just kill the bunnies. Apparently. Come back, little apple! I know. I mean, what's good is, what good is killing bunnies if you can't use their dead carcasses to hit your enemies. There's some archers ahead. If you use your shield, you can block their projectiles. I haven't got my shield yet. There it is. I was just running back through hitting Y. <laughs> Because I knew there was a shield around here somewhere. Can I hit this bucket? No. I wanted to make a hole in said bucket. Okay, so left trigger for shield. It makes you walk slower. Aha! Aha! You'll never get me! I'm the gingerbread man. Pressing space while moving will dash. Okay, so I don't know if I have a dash on here. Hitting, hitting an enemy from behind will do double damage and avoid their shield, so you won't get stunned. Oh no. Okay, just let me climb and kill. Climb and kill. Aha, you guys can't shoot me from there. Ow, okay, I guess you can. Oh no. Ah, don't die. Don't die, me. You got this. Okay, so you slowly heal back up. Oh, it has a little list of what happened to you, too. Bruised wrist, grazed hand, lacerated forearm, grazed forearm. So I got a new battle axe. 
So my current axe is one to three with two max cleaving. And this is two to three damage with three max cleaving. Critical chance, 3%. <laughs> I do wish I still had a bunny. I wish I had all the bunnies in a cute little bunny cage. At all times. Can, if we give away all the cats, can, can I have a bunch of bunnies? <laughs> that was a quick no. <laughs> <laughs> Critical damage, 25. Okay, so how do I equip this? Okay, just hit A. Cool. Oh, so, I don't know how to repair stuff yet. What's this? Oh, my skill points. I have none at the moment. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it! Hi, puppers. Okay, I don't know what that does. That's true. <laughs> I just touched the dog and shocked her a little bit and I could hear it in my headphones. All right, so. Left shoulder to toggle sneaking. The next enemy is facing the other way. You can sneak up to him without being seen. Get a surprise attack will do tremendous damage. Whap! You're so dead. I can't put out the fire, though. The next enemy is facing toward you, but you can use objects like crates, chests, and rubble to remain concealed. Okay? So let's do that then. You won't be spotted immediately if you aren't undercover. You have a short window of time before you're revealed. Okay. Whap! Area cleared. Congratulations. Okay, so first things first. Let's get some delicious stuffs. Nom 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 apples. A dwarf is caged here. If you rescue it, if you rescue him, he may wish to join your caravan. Okay. There is some wood stockpiled on that ledge, but you'll need to jump and dash to reach it. Okay, so jumping's pretty easily said and done. Can't get these cute little mushrooms there. Okay, so I have no idea how to jump and dash. I don't know if the controller will let me do it or not. Nope, that's... Ah, there we go. So that is right bumper. If you have a controller. You've reached the wood pile. Smash it and gather the resources. Ha-ha! Give me all your woods. Give me all your woody. Have, have you come to save me? They say the continent is almost entirely overrun. I'm not sure if there are even any dwarf settlements left. Thank the heavens. They were going to eat me. Please, I'm a trained physician. I'm sure you could use my services. I'm a highly trained physician. I can cure all sorts of ailments. For coin, of course. Wait, I just saved your life. You're going to make me pay you for your services? 
I mean, I could just leave you here to rot. If dwarves weren't a commodity right now, buddy. If I've learned anything lately, it isn't safe to wander around on your own. And heal. So, okay. Hold wide open. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't know if he'll just follow me back or what. So, I guess I, I've got my wood, so I've got to go back and talk to the guy with the stuff and the things. So, dash, 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 dash Rendar. Is there anything else I can smash? Or is it just telling me that I can smash stuff for resources? What about this pot? Nope. What about this bunny? Ha ha! Thought you were getting away, bunny. But you didn't. I just got an email. Alright. Have you found me timber to fix the wood? The wheel reading is hard. Yes. You can change your key binding in the difficulty setting at any time in the options menu. Okay. Perfect. This should work just fine. Oh, and now it's porting me to a new location. I'm dropping batteries. With the wagon finally fixed, you head west. The area near the Vale is lush and expansive. More than enough to house hundreds of dwarves. You are unsure how many dwarves remain in these lands, but a strong rally shall beckon them, and your colony will grow. I has two peoples now. Press Y to construct a building. Okay. So I guess I should probably talk to these guys first. Let's see what you have to say. I'm going to call you... Mortimer. And I'm going to call the physician Bob. Because he looks like a creeper. Alright, Mortimer, tell me what's up. This is a great place to start a settlement. All we need is a couple of workers to help the gathered materials. Okay, what rumors have you? There's a farm nearby. I'm sure it'd be a good source of food if we ever need any. If we help our kin, they will surely aid us. There is a goblin encampment nearby. Perhaps they've captured one of our brothers. I know what the occupation is. Oh, so you have a cute little map. Using a controller on the map. Use the right analog stick to move the selector. Press X to select an area and press A to confirm. Okay. So there's the farm and the goblet encampment. And there's our settlement. Cool. Right, so let's back out of that. Let's talk to Bob the physician. Murder. We could use a storage tent to keep supplies for more constructions. I know a few safe areas nearby. You should begin your adventure there. You'll need to scout the area before you can travel there. Yes, a storage tent would be a good start for the settlement. You'll need to gather some wood and leather to build one. And don't need healed. Shielding foes don't turn as quick. They won't be able to block you from behind. So theoretically, I could dash behind somebody. Okay. So I don't have any more wood, it looks like. It looks like it's just... Oh, now you can go to the map on here. Cool. Okay. 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 
So bunnies don't give me uh, any leather, even though bunny leather is perfect for tent building. What's this? Our physician showed me some places on the map I can explore. Okay. Oh, so I do have some wood. I've got 17 wood and 33 apples. Because in RPG world, there's only one type of food you need, and that's apples. An apple a day keeps the physician away. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's go ahead and just explore one of these places. Is it Y? I don't remember how to uh, activate the map. I just need to walk it or what? Just tends to go dark. Okay, so it pulls back the map. just doesn't want me to go there first. Okay, let's see here.
D-pad up, D-pad down, X. So obviously I'm just dumb. So, is this a reset? Map Explore X, okay. <clears throat> I don't think anybody else is watching this, otherwise I'd ask chat for help. Nav up, nav down. UI vertical. <clears throat> I don't know what those do at all. <laughs> it's, it's Pickle Rick. He's he's pickling my nose. <laughs> I've been pickled. Pickle Rick! You're welcome. You have skill points to spend, but you need to return to your campfire to use them. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with anything. anything. Let's go back to the camp then. And I'll at least spend a skill point. Or not, because I don't have a campfire. Ah, okay. You've built a campfire. Use it to level up your skills. Then open your map to be... Oh, really? You were not, you're not going to let me do it until I get through the tutorial? Is that how this is? Fuck me. Okay. Uh, then open your map to begin exploring nearby regions. Press M to open the map or uh, back on the keyboard and click on it to explore a new area. Okay. So... Open menu. Use the tabs to switch between the different skill trees. Each tree progresses from left to right and specializes in a different form of combat. Attacking, which is red, throwing, green, shielding, blue, and power hitting yellow. 
Large icons like this will unlock different abilities and you can toggle between them to change the behavior of your appropriate move. Smaller icons like these are passive bonuses and once they are unlocked they will stay in effect indefinitely. Indubitably. So I've got one point to add to stuff. We've got strength, dexterity, and constitution. I figure if I was going to focus on range I'd probably go dexterity. Uh, strength is going to help my battle prowess and constitution will help me take a hit better. Pretty standard D&D jargon right there. So let's go ahead and bump the strength. Now I'm stronger. I am brave like wolf. Okay. <clears throat> so I... I guess any of these is where I can start. Bollocks. Oh, I know what's happening. <laughs> it's from where I reverse these. Hold on. I don't like... Definitely don't like reverse, so let's turn all of that off. Back off. Now that I know what it is, I won't do it again. <laughs> <clears throat> you monsters who use inverted are terrible human beings. <laughs> okay, so there's my spot. Double your chance of getting a critical strike with slashes. Add bleeding damage over six seconds to your enemies, doubling your total damage. Uh, enable this ability to increase the force. Your attacks push enemies back and double all armor penetration when quick slashing. Um, I'm pretty partial to bleed effects, so let's roll with that. Now, I don't have one on each. Yeah, so you only get, well, at least at this point, you get one skill point. So, okay. So I've got seven wood, 34 apples. It looks like I use the apples for traveling. Like, if I don't have enough apples, I can't go somewhere. <clears throat> okay, so this is your storage tent. So I need 25 um, pelts or leather and 10 woods. I can build a tavern with 50 woods, a blacksmith, and an apothecary. An apothecary. Killed that bunny I didn't even know. See, I mean, bunnies are... You get an apple out of them. I, I, like, it, it makes you kill the bunnies. It's like, if you want to get some quick, cheap apples, kill them bunnies. Kill them poor rabbits. Okay, so map. So now I can, I want to go here. I'm still not. Still not getting how to use the map here. At this point, I've tried just about every button that I have. Okay. So if I click on it with the mouse...
Okay, so I did I did an explore. And now I can go somewhere. Okay. Hopefully I'm taking me to the farm. Don't forget to use your shield block and arrows and spears that deflects them entirely. Okay. Oh look, there's a little scarecrow. Can I bash it? No. Don't mind me just smashing all your shit. This is an RPG and that's what you do. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, I don't want to smash this stuff up yet. Let me talk to him first. So I don't know if he is a dwarf or not. I mean, he's the same size as me, so I can assume so. I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and roll with the dwarven accent or, or the bad Scottish accent, whatever, whichever you prefer. Hello, traveler. I could use your help getting rid of some kobolds. They're a real nuisance. OK, kobolds. My farm keeps getting overrun with kobolds, and I haven't got the strength to chase them away. I'll reward you if you can get rid of them, and help yourself to whatever you need. Ah, oh, so I've got run of the place, huh? I've heard there is a cave near here. You can explore it if you'd like. I'll mark it, mark it on your map. I'm a farmer. I've held my plot for many years, and hopefully many more. If you're here to help, feel free to whatever supplies I have lying around. Okay, cool. Do you have any women? Well, I'm here to help, but I'm going to rob you first. Oh, ooh. So, um, I can't take his apples? Bummer. Maybe that's a glitch. I'm going to go in your house now, bro. Oh, there's a bed. Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, how do I... Oh, okay. So you just hold down and you'll... Water off. Okay. Oh, maybe I can't hold any more apples. Maybe I'm all done holding apples. Yeah, I'm maxed out at 50. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm not going to smash... Well, I don't know if I should smash any more boxes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of my way. Oh my god. Move. I don't have a... That was intense. Okay, I need to heal up a little bit first. So, I haven't picked up anything else, it looks like. I still have a shield that's fuckered. So, and there's not even any sense in holding it, really. Definitely want that axe. So none of these guys had a shield or anything? Nope. I know you think you're gonna try and kill me, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay, so nobody had anything. Just making a mess of apples everywhere. Ah, ah, ah. 
You've successfully cleared this area of foes. When you are out of combat for more than five seconds, you can open your map to travel either in the toolbar or by pressing in. Okay, so it looks like I got another shield. Yes, I got a heater shield. And let's look at this axe. Four max cleaving. This one's three. This has two to four damage, critical chance of 4%. The other one's a 3%. And the damage is 40%, where this one's 25. So it's a much better axe. We'll switch that out. Cool. Oh, and there is a whole bunch of... Oop, I've got 20. Okay. So right there on the on the screen down to the right. 50 apples, 7 woods, and 20 leathers. Oh, look at my cute little hat. I keep hitting the wrong one. Oh, and I got an amulet as well. A striking charm. Increases my critical chance by 2% and my electric resistance by 2%. Nice. And a leather helm. Very cool. All right, so there's some more... 29 pelts. So that's the end of that. Can't get any more apples at the moment. And I should probably head back to camp. Oh, after I talked to him. Have you gotten all the... Have you gotten rid of all the kobolds? No? What about these rabbits? Good riddance. Those damn things would never leave me alone. Please come again in case they bother me again. Okay. Yes, nasty creatures. I'm glad you got rid of them. Now I just need to worry about these damn rabbits. Come back whenever you like. Okay. I mean, do you want me to kill all your rabbits too? I can do that. I mean, it doesn't do me any good at the moment, but... Back rabbit. Fast little buggers. <laughs> they reproduce like rabbits. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Okay, so, map time. Not to be confused with nap time. Okay, so I should probably head back and... get healed up I guess I guess I kind of have to use the mouse at the moment for the uh, for the travel on the map because I'm not seeing a way to do it with the uh, with the uh, with the dude the campfire is where you train and upgrade your skills. It can also improve how much area you can scout at one time. Hmm. Yes, we could, but I need heals first, so heal me up. Alright, I'm in perfect health. So, let's see here. 
Still have 50 apples. I have the pelts, but I don't have the uh, wood yet. So I need to go find some wood. So let's do that. Still just trying to click. Different things to see if I can get it to. Yeah, it doesn't seem so. Okay. So I went to the farm. I'm not sure if I'm ready to take on the goblins yet. Let's go to uh, this one. Yes. Oh, I have, okay. This is making more sense. So I have to expend it to explore it, and once it's out of the... Ah. Oh. That makes sense. <laughs> His name is Joe, and all of the apples are gone. So that's a suck. But I can kill all of his bunnies. Come back, you wee little bunny. Okay. So while that doesn't do me a whole lot of good because all of the apples are gone now, which is a huge bummer. And I mean, there was more than 50 apples there, so maybe I'll maybe it'll respawn or something. Let's hope so. Be all the bunnies there, Joe. I think I killed all the rabbits, Joe. You're not gonna give me any money for that? You jerk. You jerk. Okay, so. No. Okay, so you have to click not directly on the point on the map. You have to actually unlock it. It's kind of like a fog of war. And then once you do, once it's uncovered, then you can go there. And you have to use X. So. too bad when you're in uh... see my uh, armor looks like it's really taking some hits hopefully I'll get some armor here yeah my armor is now gone so there's not even any sense in wearing it shields doing well helms all right doesn't look like these will actually take damage Okay. Okay, so I got some more stuff. 
That one's my bad one. Also bad. Armor rating four. Armor rating three. Okay, so we'll switch that guy out. This is eight. This guy's nine, so we're going to keep that one. <laughs> At least until the heater breaks. <laughs> Definitely took some damage. 36 apples left. Alright, so I'm full up on pelts. And I don't know how many wood I can actually... Looks like I, I can have a lot more wood, so... Alright, so that'll probably fill me up on apples. Okay. So I don't want to do anything more than that because I don't want to... You know... Screw my resources. Again, kind of a bummer that uh... okay figured it out so you move over to it after you've unlocked it and you hit X and I think you also unlock places by hitting X You can upgrade buildings to increase their benefits. Click the hammer icon next to the building's name to open the upgrade menu. Ooh, storage chest. So I can put this shit that I don't need. Well, I can't, I guess I can't repair it unless I get a blacksmith. Keep a hold of these two. And I'll keep the vest just in case. out of the way so I could build a tavern I need rocks to build a black I mean I can't build it yet but I know where to get the wood There's some of the wood anyway uh, I don't know what that is for the apothecary So I don't know if having a storage can increase like can I put these guys in there it doesn't seem that way I guess that'll come as we go
Well, now I can hold more apples. And I should be able to level up, so... So let's up my constitution. Let's see what we have in the shields. Double all of your base element resistances. Okay, so that would be electricity in this case, I think. Unless there's some that are just built into the dwarf. Yes, there is. Can dash whilst shielding to charge and stun enemies. Okay, that's a freaking given. Absolutely, we're going to take that. That's a no-brainer. Alright, heal me first, buddy. Thank you. Good. Now that we have a storage tent, we should find some workers to help us fill it up. It's a good thing we have this storage tent. We should be able to construct larger buildings now. I know of a few safer, safer areas nearby. You should begin your adventure there. You'll need to scout the area before you can travel there. Yep, we've been there and done that. Okay. Warhammers are great for bludgeoning foes with armor. They can't do much against a mallet. Okay, good advice. What about you? Always look out for a source of materials. We'll need all sorts of things to build up the settlement, okay? So I guess now... Okay, so I can't kill those boxes. I didn't figure I could, but it doesn't hurt to try. So I have not been to that one. That's the Goblin Settlement. So this is another place to explore. Um, I was just over here. Portrait box thing? Oh, my little, my little head. <laughs> and hi. That is a, uh, a mask. Something I learned a lot about in Photoshop. And then uh, there's, in the new builds of OBS, you can actually mask it out. And uh, it's pretty cool. So there is, of course, uh, probably like 15, 20 second delay between when you talk and when I talk. So keep that in mind. If you're used to watching people stream, I figure that, that you would know that, but okay. So I want to go here. So I hit X. Okay, so I'm still short some armor, but hopefully I can get back here and uh, destroy the boxes that I didn't destroy and get most shit. So let's see here. 34 apples. Okay, so that's the only thing that I had here. Um, Alright, so this is a goblin encampment. So let's try our luck with that. It's okay, puppers. It's okay. I know. Mom went upstairs. Okay. So I can't chop down the trees, but I can chop at the trees and get some fresh, delicious apples. 
There are some goblins ahead. Remember to save your game in the escape menu. You can use the FS or the F5 to quick save and F8 to quick load. Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's save up here. Save name. Ogre Dwarf. Because branding. <laughs> okay. So I've got a goblin, but his back is to me, so that means that I should be able to sneak. Be very sneaky. Sneak up on him. And... Whap! Nice. He's so dead it hurts. Good, good. Oh, shit. He found me. No, no. Take your arrows and shove them up your butt. Area cleared already? I'm proud of me. Oh, there's all kinds of shit. Okay. So I'm not maxed out on anything just yet. Did I get anything... I still haven't got any upgrade to the armor. Uh, nine, two to three, my weapon's better. Eight, and eight. Okay. So that's a great hammer, so it'll be good against uh, foes that have armor on. I don't know if the goblins do. So let's roll out of that. I will come back to you, dwarven brother. Right after I loot everything around. A kite? I keep hitting the wrong damn menu. A kite? What's a kite? Oh, it's just a larger shield. Okay. Ah, uh, crappier light weapon. That is... I don't have my armor on. Uh, it is damaged. So until I can... I assume build a blacksmith to repair it. There's no sense in me wearing it. It doesn't really do much. Uh, I, it might still give me the fire resistance, but I don't know. Okay, so that leather cap is basically the same as that leather helmet. So we're G to G on that. So tight. I will be with you in a minute, Lou. Okay. Tell me your tale. Thanks for the help. I would have been done for. Oh, where are you going? I'm not done talking to you, Lou. Come back. What? We were going to have a discussion. We were going to be friends. You better go back to my camp, Lou. Okay, apparently these goblins just hide gold in their, uh, in their battlements. I'm in decent health. That's good. That's what my doctor said. Okay, so there I be there. So I've been to the farm, I've been to this encampment, and I've been to that one. So let's go here. Okay, so I have to unlock it first. So I need to be off the map and explore it for 21 apples. Okay. So now I can go to it. That is kind of a pain in the ass as far as it goes. First you have to unlock the fog of war and then you can travel to the place. If it's marked on the map you should be able to just go straight to it. Like if somebody marks it on your map that seems, I mean, that makes more sense to me. It seems quiet here. See what you can find. Okay. You have any other sage advice? I like to use swords. 
They're much better at getting fatal blows on your enemy. I like axes because I'm a dwarf, and that's what you should like as a dwarf. Oh, there's a, a brick. City of Coral, greatest in armies of valor, hammers of war, none stand before. Hmm. You're not going to attack me. You're my buddy, right? You look like a dwarf as well. Oh, no. Apple, come back. Greetings, traveler. Are you into? Are you investigating these runes as well? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Apparently, runes like this still have buried heirlooms hidden within. I'm looking to find one for myself. I'm just an adventurer. You should try beginning a powerful attack in anticipation for your enemy's move. I don't have any quests for you. I have plenty to do myself. All right. Except you're just standing there, so I'm going to go ahead and loot all this other shit. Yes, I'm swinging my axe. You got a problem with that, bro? Killed a wabbit, killed a wabbit, killed a wabbit. Killed a wabbit. Fuck you, goblin buddy. Oh. Damn. Aha! Aha! Ah! I've got a bruised ankle! I didn't think I can go on! Double axe and a pole axe. Okay. Sounds sexy. Alright. Two to three. This one's still... Oh, look, I found a ring somewhere. I don't even know where it came from. Electri electric resistance 1% and a plus one strength. Okay, so uh, this is two to four. And that's two to three. Two to three. All right, I'm still digging what I have right now. My shield's still good. <laughs> Let's see what this thing is up here. I don't know if it's... The Book of Norn. You found your first book segment. It's been added to your compendium. You can view it under the journal menu with J or by clicking the icon in the toolbar. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't know if... Hold on. Just wanted to make sure that chat was keeping up with what I was doing there. Sorry! Uh, you can select your journal to view quest events and progress, or the compendium to read book segments that you found. Books are added to the compendium as you find new pages. Okay, so let's go to the Book of Narn. I don't know how to go to the Book of Narn. Can I just click it? Ah, uh, okay. I got it. Okay, so you just find the pages randomly, so you're going to have to build a story. That's cool. So there's eight pages, it looks like, in this. And the horde approached, gnashing and crashing, drooling and screaming. Twenty kin, led by Norn the Underking, managed to hold off an entire orc legion for a fortnight, while the rest evacuated to the east. It took him ten years, but Norn returned home. Limping and mangled, but he returned a true hero. Book of Norn. Cool. Okay, so journal. I'll just click it. Rescued another dwarf. The journal will record your quest information and document each event. You can click on a journal entry to highlight other entries. Relating to the same quest, it will also highlight any markers that are on the map. Okay. So I think the grayed out ones are ones that uh, we're still working on, or uh, that we're finished. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, good. You don't take fall damage. That's always a plus. Oh, oh, damn. No, don't hit me. Okay, so I can... Shield bash and the last... Uh... The last upgrade that I got, I could shield blast him and um, whatever that is, dash at the same time. So that's good. All the golds and okay. Garen's Tower, holder of the Ring of Haste, artifact of dot dot dot. Ah, there it is. The Ring of Haste. So the question is... Wait, oh, did I not... There we go. I had to pick it up first. So that's a plus one strength. This is plus two dexterity. Well, I don't know if the dexterity is going to help me. Since I'm not focusing really on... Throwing. And it doesn't seem like there is any indicator as to what helps what so i'm just gonna hold it in my inventory maybe i can sell it off later okay so let's try to hide All right, now the area is cleared. This house is cleared. All right, so 43 apples. Let's go back in here. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Other than just killing wabbits. Don't think I did. Well, there's not any more because I just cleared it up, so. Okay. So we're good to go. Alright, so map time. So this is just a random place. I don't think I've leveled up again, so... Ooh, excuse me. Starting to get late. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, damn. Why are they still stunning me? Apparently he just kind of fell onto my axe there. I don't think there's anything in there. What's this say? Ruins claimed by Goblin King. So you can just kind of hold down and you'll drop down through stuff. Urkrug Fort, Goblin Land. Oh god, I'm still gonna take damage while I'm while I'm trying to equip a new shield. I need to run. Oh 
damn. Okay, this guy's gotta go. Oh, no, don't hit me. <laughs> oh my god. I was not sure I was going to make that. Okay, so I have to switch out my shield. Uh, let's roll with this buckler. I'm sure there's another better one, but for the time being, I'll just roll with this one. Because I'm currently buckling under great pain. Womp womp. This is a new leather vest, which I will take forthwith. And I keep hitting the wrong dang button. Oh, I already have. Oh, it already equipped it. Nice. Auto equip for the win. Bandages. Oh, so that must be linen. The white thing must be linen or something along those lines. Hold the Q key to, to heal if you have a bandage. Small bandages heal small wounds. Large bandages heal large wounds. A potion will heal everything. Gotcha. So it doesn't do me any good at the moment, though. Oh, so I can craft stuff. That's cool. How about dismantle? Select the items you wish to dismantle and then use the dismantle button to salvage resources from them. You won't always salvage the full amount. Some will often be lost in the process. Okay, cool. So that's destroyed. So let's dismantle that. Nice. Very good. Okay. So that's two to four. This is three to seven. No, I don't want to dismantle that. I want to equip that. Much better damage. So I have some other armor. I don't want to destroy a bunch of stuff, but uh, yeah, most of my shields are actually pretty good. I can destroy some of these weapons, though. Keep the great hammer. I'll definitely. Oh, so it's got little red and green arrows to let you know what is better and worse with what you have equipped. That's real smart. Good job, developers. Honestly, that's. There's some things that I'm not keen on, but the the little touches like that, a better explanation of them would be really helpful. But I'm definitely enjoying it once I'm figuring it out. Okay, can I just click it again to dismantle it? No. Okay, so I have to click it to activate it and then dismantle it. And when I click on it, it tells me what I get back, I assume. Yes. So I get two wood and two steel. Or, well, I guess it wouldn't be steel. Probably iron. If I were to hazard a guess. Can I dismantle that? No, I cannot. Hidden figure, magical item... See, my leather helmet's about ready to eat it, but I have another one, so I'm just going to hold on to it. <clears throat> so I think armor, as far as it goes, until you use it up, it, it's probably for the best to uh, destroy it, or to keep it. Sorry, got a Discord. Discord message. So three to four. I mean, I guess that has a better critical chance. 
but it's not enough. I mean, that one's got a considerable critical chance. This one only has... Oh, no, it's more damage, but the critical chance is the same. <clears throat> so I imagine if you hit critical, it's just double damage anyway, so I'm not... 20% more on top of that is, is nice, and so is 40%, but it's still... You know, I'd just rather have a weapon that does more damage up front instead of waiting on that 4% chance that I get a critical. Alright. Alright, so that cleared up some space. Now if I click here, do clean up, it'll rearrange everything for me. Very nice. Oh. I don't know what that just was. Like, why did I even need to do that, I guess? Nobody knows. Alright, so there's a little bit more wood over here. See, it becomes pretty important to kind of check because I don't know how long my cap is, you know? Like, it may have just been for those first couple of things. I definitely have to... Oh my god, words. I am definitely going to have to go back and get some healing on. But at least I know this is here, and that's important. And killing all the wabbits. Okay. So let's go back to camp. We'll just save right over the game. I don't I don't I'm not super concerned with having multiple saves. This is an awfully cute little game. Throwing axes can hit multiple enemies at once if your foes are standing close enough together. Alright, so first things first. Let's get my sweet heels on. Ah, oh, much better. Much better. Excellent. Now that we have a worker, we can send them to different places to harvest resources. Just show them where to go on the map. Okay. Cool. And I leveled up. Always good. Always look out for a source of materials. We'll need all sorts of things. I think he says that every time. I don't need that, but I want to check out what we have. So now that I know I can go to this place and get these things destroyed. I mean, I can build one eventually. I don't know. I don't remember how much it takes to do so. I can build a tavern. That's almost worth it. Uh, I can't build a blacksmith yet. But a tavern is good. I'll build it. I don't care. <laughs> and look, there's already people here. What are you? Hail, Ken. It's always good to see more of our kind. Once I saw a dwarf thwop a fireball right back at a shaman's face. I have none. Do you? I'm a fighter. Good with a blade and up for hire. Oh my god. So uh, he takes 504 gold, and I've already... I've only got 215. Uh, he's a melee fighter, 21 to 43, so he's pretty stout. Goram Iron Toe. Damage type physical, endurance regular, speed fast. Oh. Well, you are a fine specimen. Murderable. 
Greetings, Ken. Care to play a game? I've lost a few of the cards, though. Bring them here if you find them. Okay. I came from a little desert town in the east. I wonder if it's still there. I haven't got any jobs for you, mate. Sorry. I'm a bartender. I've also got some renowned brewing skills. My beer will rally adventurers if they know what's good for them. Prioritize copper. Okay, so I'm looking for, I guess, these cards? I don't know. There is no explanation at all in this, and it's not doing anything, so... Okay. So now I can uh, I can open a trade depot and a library eventually. I'm one wood shy. Okay. How about you, buddy? Do you have anything to say? You're just a worker, aren't you? Okay. So let's grab this junk. Because I can always turn that into more shit. This dude over here has a quest. Greetings, hero. Fine settlement you have here. I'm an adept builder. I thought my skills could be of use. Yeah, I like skills. Speaking of skills, we ought to have a blacksmith here. I know a fellow who lives nearby. Perhaps you could talk to him in, into joining our settlement. I'll absolutely take a uh, blacksmith. There are cotton farms north of here. I'm not sure how many are still running, but it'd be worth taking a look. Okay, so I'm going to wager 10 to 1 that the white stuff is cotton. I'm a foreman. Const er, I'm a foreman. Construction is my trade. I'll make sure our workers have a roof over their head. Keep an eye on your workers. Make sure they aren't slacking off. Alright, will do. Oh, that's what, that's what the dude just said. Sweet. Alright, so... As far as it goes... An apothecary would be nice, and I only need... 25 cotton for it. So if I go check out the cotton place first. Okay, so there's the cotton farms. So let's go ahead and explore this for 23 apples. That'll open up a nice bit there. So the farther away you get, the more apples you need to do it. Okay. So that should be good to get to here. I'm actually opening up something in the browser and it's still like Sorry, just had to check on something real quick. Okay. 
Anywho. Okay, so before I start destroying stuff, let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello, traveler. I've heard about your settlement, and perhaps we could be of some help to you. We are in dire need of your help. Goblins keep coming to our town border. They're being led by some monstrous arc in the pines north of here. If you kill their leader, I'm sure they'll leave us alone. There's a local farmer who's taken up residence in some ruins near here. Some say he's gone stark mad. I wonder if he's alright. I'm a cotton and rope weed farmer. I've been tending these fields for generations. So you're like... 400 years old? I guess that's not too old if you go by... D&D &D standards. Have you seen a physician lately? It's always good to keep yourself in shape. No shit. No shit, cotton farmer Sherlock. Alright, so there's some cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away. Look away. Look away, Dixieland. So is there, uh... Okay, so it doesn't look like there's this... Oh my god, words. Like there is a kibosh on cotton. I'm probably gonna run through the rest of this, maybe. And then, uh... Perhaps I will call it a night. It's 12.30 and I've got some more editing and stuff to do. For the podcast, DuelingOgres.com. Shameless self-promotion. Oh, there we go. Okay, so nothing I, nothing of use in there. Greetings, Ken. It's nice to see you. Wait. Oh, text message. We could use some adventurers around these parts. No good goblins skulking about. There's one in particular nasty. There's one particularly nasty goblin. He's clad in iron. If you get rid of him, it might make the others think twice about coming back. There's a vicious sect of orcs called the Black Bloods. They are fierce and frightening. I help plant and harvest the cotton plants. It gets busy when it's time to harvest. <laughs> Never trim your beard. <laughs> the worth of a dwarf is measured by the length of his beard and the girth of his built <laughs> okay so nothing to break and nothing to swipe doesn't look like there ain't nothing but them dar rabbits her oh I've got some goblins Let's sneak up on them. Why is my shield not? Oh no, I think I've died. Yep, all hope is lost. All right, so we'll go ahead and load back up the, uh... oh, I have an auto save. I wonder where that'll leave me. Okay, at the cotton farm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save it there as well. Auto save is real nice. Well done, developers. All right, so I am, I think I'm going to go ahead and play probably another half hour of this, but I need to take a quick break and uh, use the restroom and tell the lady friend good night because she has to work tomorrow, so, and I don't. 
So I will be right back after a couple of minutes. As soon as I get my thingies set up. And we'll start right now. for a battle of epic proportions between two titans. Feast upon their voices and revel in their words. This is Dueling Ogres. 